And we are back. Thanks for watching the Bourbon Note. I'm Greg. I'm Ben. Today, we're drinking bourbon. All right, Ben, we both like 100 proof bourbons. Yeah. In fact, that may be my, fra my favorite proof point. You kind of like stay in that range. Yeah. But if I were to expand my horizons a little bit as a favorite, <clears throat> there's obviously some special ones that go way above that. Yeah. I really like 107. Oh, well. <laughs> Funny you should mention that. I've got one right here. Well, let's give it a try. It's crazy. It's yeah. almost like it's been here the whole time. This is, bam, this is Baker's single barrel Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. This is a from the beam yep. house. Beam product, it is 107 proof and it is aged seven years and one month, says right there on the neck, which is awesome. I love it when they put that information on the bottle. Totally. I think everybody does. Yeah. Then now, we've never ever had this before. Ever, ever, ever. Well, in truth, <laughs> we've had several bottles of it in our collection at various times. Yeah. And then recently we actually did a review of this one without plugging in a microphone. This is this is our third review. Because when we first started recording reviews, we did one of oh. Baker's and it, we didn't really like the way it turned out. We weren't, didn't really know what we were doing yet. Yeah. So we scrapped that one. Oh, wait a minute. That implies that we do know what we're doing. <laughs> well, I mean, it's gotten better. This is the improved version. Yeah, this is number three. Maybe someday if we get enough subscribers, we'll do like a, hey, let's go back to our roots and look at our first attempts that we never released. I'm busy that day. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then the second time we did a review of it, my mic wasn't plugged in, and so it sounded terrible. Yeah. And so let's hope this one works. Not that I need to have my arm twisted to drink Baker's, but. Let's give it a try. This is a fairly fresh bottle. We've only had the... Yep, we uncorked it last uh, few days ago to do that review that got scrapped. Yep. So seven year, 107 proof. You know, based on just that, they would have to try awfully hard in order to this for this to be a bad bourbon. Yeah, I kind of think so. It's got a lot working for it. Yeah. And it's a beam product. I do like a lot of beam products. Yep. But yeah, you're right. There are certain bourbons that just in the stats alone, it's like, all right, that's this should be pretty good unless he did something really crazy with a weird mash bill or, yep. you know. That's right. So let's give it a shot here. Yeah. It's just a nice all around. It's definitely got that dry roasted peanut shell. Dry roasted peanuts. Good. It's a light vanilla. Mm-hmm. A nice punch of vanilla. Nice brown sugar. The oak notes from the... And nice oak, yeah. All right, I'm going for it. I know I, I, I know. I said I like 100 proof <laughs> bourbons, and I do. Mm -hmm. But maybe I like 107 proof more. 107 is a good proof point. It's a good spot. Yeah, it really is. Um, this one has a lot of oak spice on the palate, I'm mm -hmm. getting. That's what I'm, maybe the dominant note there. Like the oak spice, a little bit of that brown sugar again, baking spice. A little bit of fall spice, kind of. Yeah. Um, cinnamon is light, it's there, but it's light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got, um, the last bottle of this that I had, had um, some decent cherry to it. Mm. I'm not getting that quite as much on this. It's single barrel, so sure. you know, different yeah, releases. Yep. The last one I had, I think, was eight years in a month. Eight yeah. years, three months, I think. So these vary, you know, from bottling to bottling, even like the age of them. Okay. I mean, the other one that that was a year difference, yeah. you know, which yeah. makes a difference. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice sharpness to it that I like. So it's got a really clean black pepper note to finish. Yeah, it's I like can a see nice that. Burn. Um, and there's not a, lot, not a lot coming with it. It's just that, like the sweetness and the caramel kind of like fades away. And it's just a pepper note at the end. I typically don't like that, but on this one, I really do. Yeah. I feel like this one on the palate is kind of dry. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of dry, sharp, um, but it's good. Yeah. I'm not saying these are, are bad things. Sometimes you want one like that. Sometimes you want a really oily, yeah. you know, 
a lot of viscosity and a long, burny finish. And then sometimes you just like that good, kind of spicy kick, you know? And yeah. it's, it's got a nice finish. It lasts for a little while, but it's got that nice kind of sharp, right down the middle sort of flavor that I'm getting off of it. I agree. Yeah, there's not a lot of complexity in the flavor. It's no, just a really nice so. <clears throat> middle of the road bourbon at 107 proof and plen plenty of age. Yeah. And I'm guessing that's exactly what they set out to do. Totally. You know? Yeah, this is really good. These run around, I've seen them as low as 50, usually they're around 55, 58 around here. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just for, like we said at the beginning of the video, the stats alone, it's a seven year bourbon, sometimes eight, sometimes maybe yeah. even a little longer than that. Right. 107 proof beam product. Kind of tough to go wrong with that. It, exactly. So yeah. yeah, well, I wouldn't consider this like an overly unique and complex mm -hmm. bourbon. It's just a good middle of the road, nice, good quality bourbon. Agreed. That has some fairly basic flavors, but they're really nice and they work together. Still agree. So this is part of Jim Beam's small batch collection. So they've got Baker's, Booker's, Basil Hayden, Knob Creek, and then like Basil Hayden has some other, you know, like Basil Hayden Toast and the 10 year and Booker's yeah. has Little Book. Would you, old granddad's not in there, right? No, it's a Beam product, but it's not yeah. part of their small batch right. line. So yeah, I mean, this is, and this is readily available in, almost everywhere you go. It's got a really cool bottle. Yep. If you're into bottles, at least I think it's really cool. I love that big topper. Yeah, the topper is awesome. You know, that kind of makes it's pretty basic bottle shape actually, but then, you know, it's got a good logo too. I yep. like it. So yeah, I mean, I would definitely recommend picking up a bottle of this. There's not going to be a ton of bourbons on this show, I think, that I'm not going to recommend. There's going to be few. We've had one or two that aren't great. or It's not that they're not great. It's just they're very... In one side, in one, or, in one way or another, they're very, you have to make a decision. Yeah. Is that a flavor you like? Let's say cinnamon. If it's something that's super cinnamony and you don't like cinnamon, yeah. it's not a good bourbon for you. Or I think for me to recommend or not recommend something is going to come down to like the value of it. Yeah. You know, price wise. That's why even if it's a very, very basic budget $15 bottle that's at 80 proof, mm -hmm. if I think it's good for that parameter, Sure. Then I'll recommend it, you know? Yeah. So yeah, this, and I mean, like I said, this is really good at what it does. Yep. It's just a good, and if you can tell it, it drinks, like it's got a, just a quality, like there's nothing negative to say about it. Right. Yeah. So if you're looking for a fairly, well, I mean, this is a single barrel, so they can, they can vary a lot. I think they do vary. But yep. yeah, so I think you should definitely experiment with these. It's kind of interesting because like I said, the last bottle I had had nice cherry notes. I'm not getting that on this one. Yep. So it's kind of fun. You're still in the same kind of parameters of a bourbon, but you're getting different flavors because of that single barrel. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I would I would pick one of these up. I'm gonna pick up another one. My bottle I killed a couple months ago, but yeah. So this is definitely on my shopping list. Nice. I like it. All right, well, this has been Baker's Single Barrel on the Bourbon Note. And Ben. I'm Greg. Thanks for watching. Cheers.